Hi there, I'm Robert Duzik and welcome to my new video, which will be continuation of the brand new Tascam recorder Porta Capture X8. It's been a few weeks since the recorder was announced and I released my first video showing you guys overview how I'm using this recorder and give you briefly overview of everything. So there's no any point for me right now to come back and just say all the stuff what I said before but since it's my resume video I received a lot of comments and a lot of questions from Instagram, Facebook and YouTube so many questions and I will try answer some of them right now and the purpose of this video also is to, is to show you more audio examples how I'm using this task too so before we're going to jump to the examples let's start with the first question the most common question what I received from you guys regarding this recorder it's what is the pistol grip what I'm using what I can find this thing and you know what it's like I'm pretty sure I showed this in the video what it is but there is a regular pistol grip recorder what I basically I find out this on Amazon and it's cost like 10 bucks this is how they look and basically what I did to this thing I cut right here and the end just enough so when I screw right here when you see it will be not cover the horseshoe so the horseshoe basically is give me the chance to attach my little clamp when I can attach my shotgun microphone or, other, or any other things but this is pretty much what it is that's my pistol grip what you see in my videos and what you're gonna see in today's video it's very convenient and one of the other cool thing it's the little tripod when you can turn this thing and you can use this as your tripod no matter what you're doing so it's a really great device and I will leave the link below directly to the Amazon and just get to the point that's the link Another question is well, what's coming uh, and I see like a lot of videos and people comparing this recorder to other brands, doesn't matter it's a Zoom, Sony, sound device or anything else, what I don't even know what it is. For me, it's a horse work machine and all the numbers, specifics, are the, pre are the preamps are clean and whatever other statistics, it's like I don't know if you want to be scientist okay fine if you want to go by the numbers go study the numbers and if you think this thing is going to change your career and it's going to give you big jobs like you never think before because you check all the specs and everything is supposed to be the best thing it's not going to help you to get the job you know the, the bottom line is it's is how you're using this recorder where you place the recorder and what sound you're going to capture, how creative you're going to be after with the sound and how you're going to market yourself to deliver the sound. I really just don't have a time, you know, I'm not the kind of geek who's going to analyze everything and spending hours compare. This is one recorder, another one, another, another X brand and compare them and going through and this thing. Be honest with you, like, yes, I use other recorders before too. And for the example, I was on even Zoom H6 and I was working with Heaviacity on uh, Damage Library. This is what I was using. I was using Zoom H6. And it's great recorder, yes, if you like the sound. I choose Tascam because I just like the warm sound. And believe me, at this point where I am right now, I, I can get any recorder I want. I just choose this one <laughs> because it worked for me. And I, I, I like my recordings to be sound big fat bulky with big balls and beefy and that's the unit would give it to me now how I say I want to show you today more examples how I was using Porta Capture and my settings what I was using that's regular I just go click on the menu and I just choose the sound effects recording and for the preset I just go because you know you can choose any preset you want I basically go and I choose no preset because I just like to have my control. So pretty much I'm going and manual stuff. So during the recording, I was changing setting. I was some files I was recording and 192, 30 to be flat, then 96, 30 to be flat and 48, 
theory to be flat. I skip the recordings of MP3s, but some of the files I just want to recording some in mono, just see how it sounds. So basically, that's all that's using this recorder, two mics, me with this machine. So what I record, I, I, I went to the vintage tractor museum where the, it's all collections of massive collections of all vintage farmer machines, all hand operated. So they have like big cranks, big ballsy sounds, and I was able to capture this thing. So hope you're gonna enjoy it. Video is a little bit longer, probably 10, 11 minutes long, but the purpose of the video is just to give you more examples to hear the natural big sound, what the recorder was able to capture for me and deliver. And if you stay to the end of the video, you'll be see sneak peek of my new video series what well, I'm working on for like last two months. And as you see, that's my part of the setup. Rest is right now take away, but it's beautiful film and I think you're gonna like it. That's a new series coming and you will be able to learn, see a lot of things what I'm doing. So there will be a lot of videos. I think so right now I'm up to like six hours of filming. So <laughs> there will be a lot of content. So anyway, stay to the end of the video, watch the preview, hope you like it. Click on the button, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Okay, enough of me. Now, back to the Polar Capture 8 and enjoy the sounds.